ABC. This is World News Sunday. Tonight, with Peter Jennings reporting from the site of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Good evening from the United Center in Chicago, where the Democrats are going to spend the next four days trying to convince the country that President Clinton should be the first Democratic president in 60 years to be re-elected. The Democrats arrive here knowing that the presidential campaign at this point is tighter than they anticipated and very much aware that there's a lot of cynicism in the public about politics this summer. It is probably true that when this place fills up tomorrow, there will not be any surprises, at least not if the party can help it. But there will be several days for the country to analyze what the party is thinking and how it presents itself. No one knows better than President Clinton that it is now the Democrats' turn to have the spotlight, to undermine, if they can, the boost in public confidence that Bob Dole and Jack Kemp got after a week of politicking in San Diego. Today, with the slogan, America is on the right track, the president began a four-day, six-state railroad trip that will ultimately bring him here. And ABC's Britt Hume is with him. That's where we start. From station platforms where Harry Truman spoke on his fabled whistle-stop tour 48 years ago, President Clinton today began his own rail trip intended to inject color and anticipation into his party's convention. I'm on my way to Chicago. And I'm going on a train. Because I want to see the people like you that I've been working for and fighting for for four years. In remarks certain to be repeated many times in the weeks ahead, the president strongly criticized the 15% across the board tax.